The 2014 NBA draft was one of the hyped and anticipated draft classes in recent memory. Some of them ended up becoming absolute superstars in the game, such as Zach Levine, Joel Embiid, and two-time MVP Nikola Jokic. But above all these players was a 19-year-old Canadian named Andrew Wiggins. People were saying that he was the best athlete in the draft since LeBron with an insane 44-inch vertical, and he seemed to have almost every tool to be an absolute star in the NBA. But as time passed, he did not perform well, and his team was constantly losing. People gave up all their expectations of him due to his performance. He improved himself after he was traded away by the Minnesota Timberwolves and received his first All-Star Game selection. He is currently a key contributor to an NBA championship winning team, the Golden State Warriors. Today's video will be about Andrew Wiggins and how he proved his doubters wrong. Before we go any further, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! Everyone saw Andrew Wiggins as more impactful for Golden State in a single season last year as compared to all the six seasons that he spent with Minnesota. Wiggins has never been a bad player. He has been very athletic if you consider how he played over the years. The best season he had in Minnesota was during the 2016-17 season, where he averaged 23 points, 4 rebounds, and 2.3 assists per game. These stats are much better than the 2014-15 season in which he averaged 19.4 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.2 assists per game, and became the Rookie of the Year. The only negative aspect of his game was his consistency, because his numbers fluctuated over the years instead of improving. This is not good, especially for a guy who was the first overall draft pick. Apart from the consistency, many believed he lacked the mental ability to control the pressure of being the number one overall pick. The NBA world took him as the next great player. When he got into the league, fans expected him to consistently perform well on a regular basis. But he could not really get that done in Minnesota, which has been notoriously bad in developing young talent and using them in the right way. He came into the league at the age of 19 and played under three different head coaches in six seasons, which also affected his play style over the years. When he was traded to the Golden State Warriors, he showed his presence on the floor and proved his abilities. He seemed like the missing key element for the Warriors in winning a championship. His performance with Golden State was bound to happen, due to the fact that Golden State had a championship winning culture at that time, and they had just won their third finals in five years when they got him. Golden State has developed players better than every other franchise in the last decade or so. When they draft a young player, they certainly know how to use them on the floor. A young guy with a championship team such as Golden State does not have to worry about putting up great numbers or being in the spotlight. So Wiggins came out this year and averaged 17.2 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 2.2 assists last season. He did not have the best season as far as numbers are concerned, but if you actually watched him play last season, you could easily see that he was playing like never before. Moreover, the negative aspect of his game, that was his inconsistency, was no longer a problem. In fact, he earned the label Mr. Consistent. Considering the three-point percentage, last season was the most consistent and efficient season for him. He has attempted almost as many threes with the Warriors in a single season as he did when he was with the Timberwolves for six years. He averaged 3.5 three-point attempts with an accuracy of 33% in six years. On the contrary, he averaged 5.3 three-point attempts in a single season with the Warriors with an accuracy of 38. If we talk about his stats in the 2022 NBA Finals, he averaged 18.3 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, and 2.2 assists per game. He may not have been the superstar player that everybody thought he would be once he got drafted first overall, but he has been a superstar in his role, which is quite fine for a player of such caliber. Some people believe that being called a role player is kind of a dig at them. But in reality, great role players are just as important as superstar players when it comes to winning NBA championships. In NBA Finals history, every team that won the championship had a great role player or players on their roster. There are two different types of players in the NBA. The stars that go out on the court and score 20 plus points every game, and they consistently make highlight plays throughout the game. In addition to that, every team has the guys that do the dirty work and do not show up on the stat sheet more often. 
They have a role on the team, and if they play it really well, their team will reap the rewards. These are role players, and one such example is Andrew Wiggins. The beauty of having Andrew Wiggins on your team is that he is an extremely talented scorer. He is a really stellar player both on offense and defense. He also creates space for others to score and this ability has helped the Warriors throughout the season. He isn't a player who is going to go out there and drop 25 points every single night, but he has shown in the last season that he can shoot from everywhere on the court and put up big scoring numbers. He provided big numbers in the playoffs last season, and this is just his offense. As far as his defense is concerned, he proved to be invaluable for the Warriors through his ability to screen players and the number of rebounds he averaged throughout the season. He shut down Boston's ball handlers on the perimeter throughout the NBA Finals in 2022. His defensive success, on-ball pressure, and lateral quickness make him incredibly difficult to beat off of the dribble, and his wingspan makes it difficult to take a shot against him. Most of the opponents that messed around with the ball for too long against him ended up losing the ball or shooting aimlessly. His defense was so impactful that the Warriors established a defensive rating of 93.4 points per 100 possessions when he was on the court, but when he was off the court, the rating increased to 105.5 points per 100 possessions. His versatility on defense made it really difficult for the Boston players to hunt for mismatches in the NBA Finals as the Warriors were capable of putting Draymond, Clay, and Wiggins at whoever they needed to if they got switched. These three had developed a defensive rating of 92.5 when they were on the court. Their defense is unstoppable due to the ability to switch. Besides, no one is really talking about his rebounding just this past season. He led the entire Golden State team and had a higher rebounds per game when compared to Kevon Looney and Draymond Green. He led the entire finals in rebounds per game even more than Robert Williams, Jason Tatum, and Al Horford. The Golden State Warriors struggled in the department of rebounding occasionally, but Andrew Wiggins reduced that load with his exceptional defensive capabilities. His high level of effort on the defensive end makes him invaluable to the Golden State Warriors. He is reliable on both ends, and this is what makes him so special. He did not perform well and was not certainly the player to rely on when he came out of college, but no one can deny his abilities and how impactful he was as a player during the entire season. Considering his performances this past season, he will be the go-to guy for the Warriors on defense as well as scoring, along with rising star Jordan Poole. He knows his role and plays it to near perfection. The impact he has had on the Golden State Warriors last season is completely undeniable. And what do you guys think? Will Andrew Wiggins help the Warriors to reach and possibly win another NBA Finals next season? Will he rise up to his potential? I would love to hear your opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. We'll see you in the next one.